Good day everyone! I am here to talk about the two famous architects who won the Future Architecture Awards in 2010, namely Kazuya Sajima and Ryu Nishizawa. So first, let's talk about Kazuya Sajima and Ryu Nishizawa's background. Kazuya Sajima was born on October 29, 1956 in Mito Ibaraki, Japan. She graduated from Japan Women's University in 1979. Her professional background She began working with the architecture firm Toyo Ito Associates in 1981 and she established Kazuya Sajima and Associates in 1987. She believed that architecture can be a temporary phenomenon that appears in action makers' awareness and images when action moves across the local. In 1992, she won the Japan Institute of Architects Young Architect of the Year Award because of her distinct vision. As a visiting professor, Kazuya Sajima has taught the Princeton University, the Polytechnic de Lausanne, Tama Art University, and Keio University. She co-founded the Sajima and Shizawa and Associates Prasanna with Ayona in 1995. Ryo Nishizawa. He was born on February 7, 1966 in Kanagawa Prefecture. He graduated from Yokohama National University with a master's degree in architecture in 1990. His professional background. He also worked for Ito and he co-founded the firm Sana with architect Kazuya Sajima in 1995. In the year 1997, he established his own office named Office of Ryo Nishizawa. He also holds a professorship at Yokohama National University. Sana, or Sajima and Nishizawa and Associates, a multiple award-winning architectural firm based in Tokyo, Japan in the year 1995. Primarily known for its white light building set in Japan's cultural tradition. The use of formality and ambiguity in buildings has made the reflective properties of glass objects so much more striking and exciting. Delineated structures that were commended for their refined simplicity, spatial fluidity, and thoughtful integration into their buildings or surroundings. In 2001, Sana was begun to concentrate more on international commissions. Even in their earliest project in Japan, their distinctive manifested itself with a clarity that is so easily defined and misinterpreted. Thus, their iconic understand with spaces are stripped of any elaborations that may distract the user from the goal, which is to activate and inspire them to engage with their surroundings. Transparency and abstraction is always an end goal. But minimalism is not always as essential as a means to achieve it. And preferably as blank canvas for a social call to action and personalization of space. It is the absence of material expression that can be contemplated the ultimate expressive quality of their designs. The luminous forms of Sana's building encapsulate the bossing programs of the interior, being described as three-dimensional collectors of activities whether it is stack, tact, or horizontal fluid or rectilinear. The Jury Citation Each building is ultimately a work that comes from the union of their two minds. Architects hold an image of a building as a whole with a census context of it for human beings, artifacts, and environments. Sajima and Shizawa's architecture stands in their contrast with the bombastic and rhetorical. Instead, they seek the essential qualities of architecture that result in much appreciated straightforwardness, economy of means, and restraint in their work. Instead of hierarchical spaces, they prefer using the non-hierarchical arrangements or in their own words, the equivalence of spaces, creating unpretentious democratic buildings according to the task and budget at hand. Although 
Sajuma and Shizawa have not published theoretical treatises, speculative works to date, their efforts are motivated by strong and clearly developed principles. The appointment of Kazuya Sajuma as director of the 2010 Venice Architecture Pinel is a tribute to this. Magnificent, magnificent Finnish buildings and their exciting new construction projects together resulted as Kazuya Sajima and Ryune Shizawa are the recipients of the 2010 Pritzker Architecture Award R Prize. Here are some notable structures. The Toledo Museum of Art Glass Pavilion, which is located at Toledo, United States, with postmodern style and completed in the year 2006. Its material was abundance of glass. Its concept is that each space is enclosed in clear glass, resulting in cavity walls that act as buffer zones between different climates. Museum exhibition spaces that glass making hot shop and the outdoors. So here are some the pictures of Toledo Museum of Art Glass Pavilion. The next one is the New Art Museum located in New York. Its style is new age and completed in the year 2007. It is mostly made up of aluminum, mesh, and concrete. Its concept is that with its squared blocks and buildings can be considered a starting point for the museum's image. It replies the build boxes surrounding and stacks them one on top of the other in various sizes and heights, as the plot was a playground for a composition of cube. The next one is the Dior Omotesando which is located in Tokyo, Japan with modern style and completed in the year 2003. It is most made up of glass. Its concept was the building is a pristine white box with sharp edges and occupies the entire trapezoidal site. The next one is the 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art located in Kanazawa, Japan. It style was minimalist and was completed in the year 2004. It mostly made up of steel, concrete, and glass. Its concept is that the museum is designed as a park where people can meet at any time and the museum's aim is enjoyment and accessibility is to the general public. The openness of the building promotes the perception that the museum does not want to be as an obscure. The next one is the Musée de la Vire Lens, located in France, with modern style and completed in the year 2006. Materials were steel and glass. The concept is that the structure is made up of building of steel and glass. There are four rectangles and one large square with slightly curved walls whose angles touch. The next one is the Rolex Learning Center, located in Lausanne, Switzerland, with the style of the Constructivism. It was completed in the year 2010 and was made up of concrete and glass. It is a highly innovative building with gentle slopes and terrace undulating around a series of internal patios with almost invisible supports for its complex curving roof which required completely new methods of construction. The last one was the Serpentine Gallery Pavilion, located in London, United Kingdom. Its style was constructivism, completed in the year 2009 and was made up mostly of aluminum. The pavilion is floating aluminum drifting freely between the trees like smoke and reflective canopy undulates across the site, expanding the park and sky. Its appearance changes according to the weather, allowing it to melt in the surrounding. The awards In 1998, 
they got the prize of architectural institute of japan tokyo japan for multimedia workshop ugaki kibu in 2000 the average killing architecture prize calls who hey germany in 2002 the arnold brunner memorial medal of the american academy of arts and letters in the year 2002 Architecture Award of Salzburg, Vicenzo Scamuzzi, Salzburg, Austria. In 2004, they won the Golden Lion for the most significant work in the 9th International Architecture Exhibition of the Venice Biennale. In the year 2005, they got the 46 Mainichi Newspaper Arts Award Architecture Category for the 21st Museum of Contemporary Art, Kanazawa. They also got the Rolf Shock Prize in Visual Arts Sweden in 2005. In 2006, the signed prize from the Architectural Institute of Japan. In 2007, they got the Premium Mario Pan in 2007. Mario Pani Award, Mexico Me City, Mexico. In the same year, they got the Conspires Berlin from the Berlin Academy of Art. And in 2010, they got the Pritzker Architecture Award. Next is the references. So here are some references. And that's all. Thank you.